Hi YouTubers, this is Andy Kirby from Arico Magic UK and today we're going to talk about our new product which is the MK36. Now the MK36 is slightly different to our other mini PCs in that it uses an Intel CPU. So in here we've got an Intel Z3736 um, and that is basically a very fast mobile processor that runs um, on next to no power, very, very low power consumption. Um, it's actually faster than some of the others out there, like the 3735. This allows a higher clock speed. So it's actually a bit faster than some of the sticks out there. Um, you know, the reason why we can use the, the faster version is because we have a bigger box and it dissipates heat a lot better. There's no fan in here, it's still fanless, so much like our other boxes, like the ARM based. Um, MK8, MK902 and V5, you know, those are very, very powerful um, and, you know, very, very low power consumption devices. Um, but this, this is, again, the same sort of thing, but using Intel CPUs and it runs Windows. It runs Windows and Android, and this is actually a dual boot device. So we have Windows 8.1 with Bing and we have... Android 4.4 as well in one box. You can switch between what you want to boot at the beginning. So at the boot time, when you fire up the box, you can choose which OS you want to start. Really useful. Um, you know, Windows is great. Windows 8.1 is fantastic for desktop-based applications, things you want to do, run Photoshop, run, you know, Microsoft Office. Anything you can do with a Windows computer, you can do on Windows 8.1. Difference is this is probably a lot smaller than any PC um, <laughs> that uh, most people have seen before. Uh, so this is this is the new generation. And if you want to flip to Android, you know, to run Android apps, uh, to run, you know, any of the Android games or any applications that you just can't get on um, Windows, then you can just easily switch over to Android and, um, and run those. Now, the box itself, um, as I mentioned before, it's got some good heat. Um, dissipation um, properties so the whole of the bottom box is actually metallic which helps you know to um, to dissipate heat um, and you know we've done some rigorous testing on this because we found that with the um, with, with the other devices some of the other um, Z3735 based devices they get really hot um, and that scales back when they get too hot they scale back performance and uh, it's what you don't want um, when you're when you're trying to you know, run a, run a game or run something demanding on these boxes. Um, so yeah, we've, we've done quite a lot of work to make sure that, you know, our, our temperature control is, is, is perfect on this. And I'll show you the back of it. We've got, so we've got our little um, security lock, locking clip there. So if you're putting this in a, in an outside environment where the public might have easy grab reach of it, <laughs> you can, um, you can lock it down. Uh, basically you've got um, a, uh, micro SD card uh, slot there, two USB 2.0 ports, HDMI, Ethernet, your power DC input there. Turn it around to the side, you've also got two more USB 2.0 ports, um, which is great because if you've ever tried, um, you know, doing anything on, on these uh, on the sticks and all these other devices, you find you quickly run out of USB ports. Um, you don't realize how many you actually need if you're doing anything. Um, you know, doing anything more than just browsing the web. So we've got those two there as well. 3.5 millimeter um, audio jack as well. Really useful um, for you know plugging in headphones. Your audio will still come out of the HDMI um, socket on the back digitally, um, but it also just gives you another another way of getting audio out of the box itself. So there it is. It's very very light, um, not too light. Um, to feel like it's like it's got nothing inside, but it's um, it's it's a nice um, substantial uh, casing. I think it's one of the best um, casings that you know we've managed to um, managed to conjure up for these devices. So I'll quickly see if I can show you the um, the dual boot feature um, and how it works basically um, by plugging it in. So I'll have to just disconnect this this device um, here and see if I can just. Get this plugged in so again you know it's very simple you've got literally two plugs two wires to plug in power ethernet um, 
and we're using you know small uh, wireless trackpad or mouse and mouse and keyboard should I say so plug it in um, and we give it a quick turn on there and I don't know if you can see this but um, this monitor here so we, we start up the RKM logo and then you can see the dual boot feature straight in there so you can easily select to this um, by basically just using your mouse or using your keyboard arrow keys I'm just selecting on the arrow keys on the keyboard so you can select Android or you can select Windows so we're going to go straight into Windows and let it boot up but basically you know what it will do is it will it will pick the OS if you leave it if you just turn it on from cold and just leave it it will pick the OS that you booted last time um, and just boot that after about 10 seconds so it's standard kind of thing um, and then you know if you want to interrupt that process you can so it's fairly fairly straightforward um, so there we go straight into Windows and um, you can just put in put in the password there and it should boot up now you know it's full Windows 8.1 you know it's no um, it's no miracle people have seen this before but basically you know we're straight in there and what's happened to that desktop background there it must be choosing a random one or something um, so that's loaded up and we've got this little um, this little icon on the desktop probably can't see it from there but um, basically this just allows you to switch to Android directly from within Windows um, you know you've got to go through the boot process of course it doesn't run both of them side by side but um, you know it gives you the fu function of being able to switch between the two so it's saying are you sure you want to switch to Android yes um, and then another little message there and then it will basically shut down Windows and actually then boot back to Android which is quite a nice um, quite a nice feature um, the this particular box we will do this box with um, Linux Ubuntu um, installed already so um, that will probably be coming a bit later by the time you watch this video it probably it will probably um, be available so we'll have a, an LE version um, Linux edition version of um, this box just um, mainly because you know we found that a lot of customers want the Linux versions already done um, commercial customers and also um, you know OEMs people that just want to basically just have the system um, there so we will be doing um, we'll be doing a Linux version of this um, but right now we have the Windows and the Android um, version um, you know it's, it's, it's great to be able to have Windows and Android you see Android's just booted there um, so that's that's straight in um, it's great to be able to have both of those different options Windows runs a lot of applications as I said before and so you know um, having Android having Windows and Android gives you the best of, of both worlds and they both run absolutely slick I mean it is it's very very smooth um, mainly just due to um, due to the Intel um, CPUs and stuff you know the way they have um, a lot of good already um, baseline support for GPU and everything else so there you go there's the MK36 um, Windows and Android version it's available now you can order um, directly from Cloudstow um, which is the sort of a European outlet for um, uh, for Recount Magic or you can order anywhere else online but basically there you go that is the MK36 thanks for watching